Hello there! Do you want to learn how to create a Docker image for your Node application? In this video, we will learn exactly that. We will first create the SvelteKit sample application, then create a Docker file for it, and lastly check if the image works correctly. So let's dive right in. First, we will create the sample application using npm or pnpm create svelte at latest sample. We then choose the example project, select the properties that we want, then go into the directory, create a git repository by running git init, install the required packages by running pnpm or npm install, then install the node adapter using pnpm or npm install minus d at sveltejs adapter node. We then configure it in the svelte.config.js file to make sveltekit to an app launchable using node. We then create a docker ignore file and put in node modules. Then we can launch the app using pnpm or npm run dev. Then check the application in the browser under the provided URL. Now that we see that the application is running, we can create a new file called docker file. Inside the file, we will run a two-step process where we first build the application and then copy the needed files into the actual image. We then add the following content. We first define node as the base image of the build step. We then specify the directory where the following steps are executed. We then copy the package.json files of the project into the image and then install all the node modules. These Two steps are better for caching the steps for the next runs, so the next times we build the images. We then copy the rest of the project into the image. And lastly, run npm build. In the next part, we will use node as the base image for the final image. We copy over the files needed to run the application from the build step. In this case, the package.json files and the build directory. We then cleanly install the needed modules again. Expose port 3000 so that we can later access the application through it and then run the application with the node.command. With that, we finish the Docker file creation and can run the image build process. For that, we will first stop the server and then run docker build dot minus t sample image. This creates the docker image with the tag sample image. We can then check if the image is set up correctly by creating a container using the image. For that, we will run the docker run command with docker run minus p 3000, 3000, minus minus name, sample container, sample image. This creates a container that has a port mapping from 3000 inside the container for 3000 on the local machine. It's named sample container and uses the sample image. We can now check if it works properly by opening our browser under localhost 3000 and there should be the application. Congratulations! With that, you created your first Docker file for a Node application, in this case SvelteKit. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. In the next video, we will use this Docker image to deploy the application to our server using either GitLab or GitHub's CI-CD environment. 
So, see you in the next one. Happy coding.